Hello viewers, Super GT here. If you jump into the mission section of Gran Turismo 7, you'll find this. It's a challenge where you have to get as far as possible on a very small amount of fuel. You're driving the Ford Raptor around Trial Mountain. And to demonstrate how tricky this is, I will drive it at full speed and show you how quickly you run out of fuel. Yes, you can see it there very, very quickly indeed. So I'm making zero attempt to be economical. I'm just going to go flat out and see how quickly I run out. Now the goal time is 5,368 meters and we've only traveled 500 and we've already run out of fuel. Now you can freewheel a fair amount and you can see here the momentum that I've built up is taking me a fair amount but we are going to run out here on the end of the first tunnel not even halfway to the bronze medal distance. So I first found out about this challenge on my live stream and here's how my first attempt went. Let's try this method. It's going to be really slow but close all the windows, turn off the AC, get rid of unnecessary weight in the car. That's enough to get over this hill, that is perfect. Please be enough. Roll over that hill. That is all you got to do there, mate. 22 miles an hour. We're still going. You've got to be so patient on this <laughs> challenge. You see my ghost is already at like the penultimate section. Just made it over that hill. And we're gaining speed. Okay, good. I just roll up there. Roll up there. Maybe a little bit too much there. Used a bit too much. So I've got to just attack this. That's one lap. We're in a much better position than last time. Get up there, mate. Go on. Get up there. A bit more. Come on. Get over that little crest there. Cut the corner a little bit. 14%. Right. I think it's best to accelerate going downhill. I think you gain more doing that. So let it free roll here a little bit. Wait, let's see if we get 3.8. If I can get up that hill, I can roll through the last corner and down the main straight. Right, that's it. Ah, oh, no, come on. Most people ran out on this hill, I think. That's it. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Oh, if we could just get over that hill. That hill. Oh. If you get over that hill, you go another mile. So I don't know if you heard me say there that, uh, well, if, if I go over that hill, then maybe I'll get a bit further. You can see there, at the time of recording, the guy at the top of my leaderboard was quite a long way ahead and surely he made it over that hill and rolled down. By the time I logged in a day later, you can see the times had updated or the, the high scores had updated and the bar was a bit higher. 6.96 miles was the target to beat. So I had to get very, very economical at doing this. I had to really have a very, very light foot and develop my technique. This was my first attempt on this day at least. Going past the finish line with 33% on the first lap. Just getting over this hill at the top of the first hill on the second lap. And then by this point here, I just managed to creep over this hill before letting the car free roll down here. And uh, I had actually run out of fuel by this point. And this was the hill that I ran out of fuel on during my live stream attempt before we come to a halt 5.65 miles later, just a, uh, a small amount uh, shorter than my, than my personal best. But it was very frustrating because, again, the top times were there and I knew that if I just get over that damn hill, then I could get a much, much better time. The frustrating thing about this challenge really is that it takes so long to get an attempt done. It took me taking more than 10 minutes 
to do one attempt and you're doing this very 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 slowly so it takes a lot of patience you do have to have um, quite a strong mindset for this challenge now this was my next attempt I managed to creep over this hill and I thought what are the techniques that work what are the techniques that don't work and I felt as though freewheeling in a high gear didn't really seem to work uh, so you know shifting up into sixth on the downhills I don't know if it was really helping but I think the main thing that I did work out is that um, it's probably best to not power too much going up the hills it's probably best to power going downhill if possible but then ultimately it's best to power a very small amount you can see my throttle trace there the bottom right of the screen uh, just below or sorry just to the right of the gear number that is my throttle application for those that aren't aware and also i have the fuel mix on the right uh, bottom right of the screen I have that on six which is uh, using the least amount of fuel and i put that into six instantly on every run so that's the best thing to do so this is the hill uh, the hill that I'm trying to get over, but this is only the first lap. We need to get over that hill, that same hill on the second lap. You can see just how far you can roll once you get over it. So I know that if I get over it, get over that hill, as I said, you're going to roll a, you know, a fair amount here and get a much better distance compared to uh, your friends. And this attempt here is pretty good because we're going to cross the finish line um, nearly seven minutes that lap took so a very long lap and as we cross the line here we are on 52 percent fuel so surely it stands to reason that i'd be able to do two laps and cover at least 6.66 there's 3.33 for one lap surely therefore if i could just do the same again i could at least get 6.66 and then hopefully a little bit more I was looking here to take shorter lines as you can see just straight lining from one end of the tunnel to the other as there's no need to actually take the racing line we're not going quickly so we don't need to really preserve speed in some places we need to minimize distance traveled as well so here's the hill then eight percent fuel can we get over this hill surely with eight percent i should be able to manage it kept the car in third gear and just kept a very small amount of throttle input so yes i was using up fuel but we have still five percent and it was about here 5.71 which is my record and we've just gone level with it and we've just gone past it still with three percent we're gonna make it over the hill yes we are come on yes we can now freewheel down this hill through the final chicane and then back onto the main straight so i'm gonna get at least three quarters of a mile further now on top of my record coming down here into the final chicane this is really a case of just minimizing speed loss so you just have to take this as smooth as possible so just running all the way out to the right hand side and then cutting across the corner cutting through the uh, final corner of the, of the lap and we have three percent remaining the car does actually roll pretty far quite amazing actually how far you can get the car to go with a minimal amount of fuel at a very low speed and again it takes a lot of patience that lap taking seven and a half minutes so slightly slower than the first lap and it was here the marshals were looking on with astonishment was he going to do it was it going to be possible was i going to be able to get 6.96 to level or beat the best on my friends list we go a little bit further we're freewheeling as much as possible i'm on zero percent fuel and eventually we stop on 6.94 so i was very happy to be able to get that but also i was a little bit annoyed that i couldn't travel a tiny bit further and get to the top of my friend's ranking list we did manage to get over that hill but it was so frustrating to not be able to get 6.96 or 6.97 just a tiny bit more extra fuel surely would do it now here I wrote off this attempt because the car wouldn't go in gear. So I thought, let's test out going through the pit lane. Is this going to help us? Can I you know, shave off some distance here and shave off some fuel by going through here? So you can actually go through the pit lane, but it goes into auto drive. And when you go into auto drive, the car uses a fair amount of fuel. And therefore, it's not actually worth doing. 
and uh, you cover the same amount of distance technically according to the game even though it is actually a shorter distance um, but it's not actually worth doing so we, with that in mind we're just going to go back to our old strategy and just try to do it better so the ghost is going to go there that is my pb the 6.94 and therefore you can instantly tell that i'm going to be much much more patient this time around i'm going to be taking every little thing i can do to give myself even if i can gain 0.1 percent of fuel by the time we get to the end that might be the difference between getting 6.94 and 6.96 or 6.97 it really does come down to the tiny differences so coming out of the tunnel on the first lap just slowly creeping over here at nine miles an hour so so painfully slow it really is hard to look at probably and then here again straight lining the tunnel we don't need to take the racing line by going over to the right we're on 72 percent fuel and on my live stream attempt on this tunnel on the first lap i was on 70 percent so we're slightly better than that attempt at least and then you can let the car free roll on this uphill on the, the back straight tunnel you can see again just how slow i'm going using just about enough fuel to get up the hill over it and then back down the other side you can see here going six miles an hour and eventually it crept over seven that was the perfect sign i needed to tell me that i'd made it over the hill and i was beginning to accelerate again on the other side of it going down so I'd done the perfect job there, really, of using as little fuel as possible to get over that hill. Here's the hill I hate, but this is only the first lap. Again, using minimal amount of throttle input, maybe about 20% at most. In fourth gear, and then just releasing the throttle once I'm definitely sure that I've done enough. 10 miles an hour, 9 miles an hour there, over the top of that hill. Could have perhaps gone a little bit slower. But once we're over, we're over and we can roll down here. And I was going to cut this corner now because I think it doesn't actually matter. You're not going to get a penalty. So that's going to save us a little bit as well. That's going to save us a bit of fuel because we can carry a bit more speed onto this straight. Therefore using less fuel to accelerate up to speed once again. So we're just learning all the little things you can do. Not going over fully to the right on the main straight as well. Just again, minimizing distance traveled. We crossed the line, 53% fuel. So we've done a slightly better job than before. So it's a case of just doing it all over again and making sure that we can go a tiny bit further at the end. Through the tunnel. In pain, a lot of pain. It's just so frustratingly slow. And it does take... It does take... <laughs> um, I mean, it took me a while to do this challenge. Um, maybe about an hour of doing it over and over again just to get to this point where we've really learned the ins and outs of the challenge. On the back straight, again, just letting the car freewheel over this hill at slow speed. In fact, I've probably gone too fast, if anything. 13 miles an hour. Dizzying speeds, quite frankly. And then here, using the momentum, using gravity to assist us for free. And I worked out that I think it's better, rather than accelerating down the hill, you might as well just do nothing and then just slowly accelerate up the next hill because the momentum you gain from accelerating down the hill doesn't really help as much as you might think so i i saved a little bit there by doing that last time around we had what about nine percent eight percent going over this hill so we've got a little bit more than than before which is good news just carry again a small amount can we do a slightly better job off the throttle now because i know that i can just creep over is it enough Yes, it is. 14 miles an hour, so fairly consistent compared to the previous lap. And then it's a case of letting the car do its job, letting gravity do its thing. And it's, it's doing a really good job. I mean, a big, big, massive shout out to the boys back at the Gravity uh, Factory for such an amazing physics package today. For helping us out with uh, an incredible amount of distance on this run. They've done an, an incredible job. We're going to try uh, try and uh, straight line this corner as much as possible. Keep the momentum up. And I think we're in a good place here. 13% left. As we head down the hill towards the final chicane. 
this is better than the previous attempt. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I could I can beat my top, top of my friends list by this point. Through the chicane, again, let's take this as smooth as possible. Scrub off the minimum amount of speed so that we can get onto this main straight with a decent amount of speed. And just let the car freewheel here. Just roll as far as possible without really using any fuel at all. Just a tiny throttle application with a couple of downshifts. I think the car was just going quite nicely in fifth gear here with barely like 5% throttle application. Crossing the line, 6.66 distance, 11% fuel remaining. So this was very good. I knew that I could beat this. 10% fuel. This is where we stopped. Last time, 6.94. Is 6.96 to beat? Are we going to be able to do it? Yes, we are. And we've we've done it. Okay, so now it's a case of how how much further can we get? It's, it's all uphill here for this first sector until we get out of the tunnel, the big left hand at the top of this hill. And therefore, it's going to be quite hard to really get over this hill and then be able to freewheel for a bit. So it's just a case of somewhere on this hill, I am going to... I'm going to perish. My fuel is going to deplete to zero. I'm 1% now. So how much further can we get? Because we've already smashed the record at 6.96. Can we get up to 7.3? Is that possible? Is that unrealistic? It's going to slow down now. It's all uphill. 0% fuel. We have run out. And thankfully, guys, we managed to go 7.27. .7 and smash our friends ranking leaderboard and I was very very happy to do that because that took a lot of patience a lot of time and a lot of effort to drive that slowly it was very weird it's a very weird challenge not having to go quick having to go very slow and be very patient I hope you enjoyed this video let me know your best time on this one and if you do beat me again comment down below your best score because I want to see what people can get on this challenge it was a really cool challenge it was frustrating I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I shall catch you next time. Goodbye.